Yo, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking you with me into the studio where I show you exactly how I record, mix and master a song. But before we get into the video, I wanna remind you to subscribe and drop a like, as well as leave a comment telling me what you think about the song or your favorite part of the video. Yo, what's going on? Hope you're doing good. My name is David the Crook and welcome to another video where I show you exactly how to mix and master your song. This is part two. If you haven't checked out part one where I show you the pre-mixing of what I did to this song, go check it out. This is part two. First video, what we did, we did the pre-mixing, pretty much went through, chopped out things we don't want, pan stuff left and right, and added a fade to it. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to step two. But before we get into the video, if you are new to the channel, subscribe. If you already subscribed, drop a like. Also, as you're watching the video, if you have any questions to what I'm doing, or if you want me to go more in depth and explain something a little bit more, leave it down below in the comment section. So I'm going to play the song. That way you can get a feel of the song, get the vibe, and we'll get into it. I'm only going to play like the hook and first verse and then we'll get into it so this is a song that i recorded a song that it just i made it produced the beat with the co-producer and then wrote the lyrics recorded it all by myself Scared to get mine, love my life, so I love dress fly. First, where you go when you wanna get high? Uh -huh. Bump, so you ain't in sight. Fuck you, you not, boys, you're never gonna shine. Fuck yeah. you. Uh, you wanna be a boss like me now? Uh -huh. Rubbing on my feet, I'm her key now. King. She crave my attention, she my feet now. Huh. Yeah. Hey. Baby, you fucking with a G, G now. Uh -huh. Sipping on some wine, some crystal. Yeah. Let me change your life, I can, can make a smile. Hey. Why you acting shy? Cause girl, you ain't that innocent. Nah, I know you. If you need help when it comes to recording songs, whether you're recording your own songs or songs for other people, I did create an ebook called Recording Pro Vocals. I break down step by step how to set up your equipment, the equipment you need, how to maximize your DAW, pretty much your computer, your laptop, everything you need to know when it comes to recording vocals, whether you're recording here, like in the home studio, if you're recording in the kitchen, if you're recording in the bedroom, a living room, a shack, a garage, in your car, if you're recording outside, I literally show you step by step how to be able to record vocals to get that nice, crispy, dry recording. Everything is raw. There's no plugins. Nothing is just raw, straight vocals. The beats mix. That's about it. And my last video, like I said, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. What we did is we cut up the stuff we don't want, put in the best takes. And if, you re if you're hearing it, the dubs really emphasize the vocals are very there to buff up the main vocals with the dub. So if you hear it, I, I know you and I, we both be on some play shit. Some play shit. By the way you talk, I know you like to find it, like to find it. Way. So I got main vocals, some dubs, some ad libs. Everything is working well together. So after we have part one, I usually move on to part two, and that's just tweaking the beat just a little bit now the beat i mixed it so in general the way i mixed it i already know everything's going to be well balanced but usually if you get a beat off youtube there are some things you're going to need to do so first one being if you get a beat off youtube you got to understand that the beat is mastered so 
there's little things you could do to it and that's kind of what i'm going to show you like hypothetically let's pretend my beat is mastered you're going to want to lower it six dbs that's just a rough estimate that's usually around how much i lower the beat when i get a beat off youtube and the way i do that there's two ways you could do it you could either lower it straight from the fader or you could go and drop the gain so the way i do is i just go here go to region and i just lower the gain whatever like 60 bs in this case i'm gonna do 1.5 why you act the shot because girl you ain't that in after that the next thing that i do to the beat is i add ozone 8 ozone 9 by isotope i got ozone 9 here and then i usually mute the vocals you don't really have to do that i just do it and then i just run it through the master sit i put intensity low put it on streaming put next play the beat So after it gives you the AI, whatever, I turn off the maximizer. I don't want to add a limiter to it. The imaging, I kind of keep the same, but in general, I'm focusing on the EQ. So what Ozo 9 is telling me is there's a lot of low end, which of course is going to tell me there's a lot of low end. And we need to boost up the mid highs as well as the highs. So in general, I don't really do it off ozone i like adding my own plugin that adds those frequencies so one way i do that is just by adding a simple eq you can use a regular stock plugin eq but i like adding like the ssl so i'm gonna throw in ssl ev2 and i'm just gonna copy whatever it tells me so it tells me at around 16k you need to boost it two dbs so i'm just gonna go here go to 16k now i could just go to the number so let's say 15.96 15.95 whatever up boost it two db so i'll turn this one off and then i'll just hear it to see the difference sounds good turn this gate off and then i'm gonna do the same thing with the mids it's at 3k so go to the second eq go to 3k it was at 347 so i go 347 and i kind of just match the slope so it's a very big slope so i'm gonna probably just throw it out here do 1.7 turn this one off 1.7 So this is without the EQ. It still sounds good, but then when you add the EQ. As you could tell, I use a lot of weight plugins. And the reason I use weight plugins because they're really affordable and they're really, really good. So if you're looking into investing into some weight plugins, down below in the description, I have a special discount link for you. Click the link, get the plugins you need to get at a discounted rate. If you don't have the money to invest into plugins just yet, I did create a free ebook for you where I listed 100 plus free plugins that you could just download today. Literally open up the ebook, look through the plugins, click the one you want, click the link and it takes you straight to the website where you're able to download it for free. This ebook has everything from EQs to compressors to reverbs, delays, effects, pretty much everything you need to be able to mix and master anything, whether it's vocals, a song, a beat, like I said, anything you get your hands on, you will have the right tools to be able to mix and master it. Use the discount code CROOK and you will have a special discount for you. Kind of just makes that clap a little bit crispier. Overall, it's boosting everything within the beat, so it's good like that. Then I'm going to focus on the low end tells me low shelf 118 hertz 
pi 2 dBs. Now, I'm not going to do it with the SSL just because I don't want those frequencies cut the whole time. I'm going to be using a different plugin and I'm going to be using the F6 by Waves. Now, if you don't have these plugins, there's two things you could do. First one, buy the plugins. They're like $30, but if you're looking into investing into some Wave plugins, in the description, I do have a discount link you could use to get them even cheaper. Now, that's the first option. The second option is to find these plugins, but in a free version. Now, I do have an ebook called 100 Plus Free Plugins that you could download for free in an ebook. And a lot of the plugins that I use that I've paid for are in that ebook that you could get for free. It's not the same exact one, but it is a plugin that does the same exact thing as the one that I paid for. So for example, this is an F6 and I paid for it. There's an other plugin that's a dynamic EQ exactly like this one, a little more or less, a little bit of changes looks different, but in general, it's the same thing, a dynamic EQ. And you could get that one for free and it's in the ebook. So if you're looking into getting that ebook, check the link in the description it's there get the ebook go through it everything's labeled eqs dynamic eqs the different types of eqs compressors different types of compressors every type of plugin you could think of that you could need to mix and master music it's in there so those are your two options well there's a third option use free plugins use whatever plugins you got but in general i'm using this plugin SSL because of the color that it adds to the beat, the slope that is within this plugin that I like, and then this dynamic EQ that is going to help me compress and tame those frequencies. So if you're looking into getting the ebook 100 plus free plugins, check it out, link in the description. And I'm going to replicate it. So go to 118. This is 118. I'm going to match it. Okay. Let me switch it here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Lower it about 1.8. So it's very subtle with what it's doing. It's not necessarily cutting those frequencies but it more it is compressing those frequencies so if i were to overdo it you could see it move so you could see when the 808 and the kick come in it's just compressing those frequencies just taming it a little bit more but that's overdoing it i just want something very very subtle i'm not very i'm not trying to do so much changes to the beat because the beats already mixed the beat you have from youtube it's already mixed it's already mastered anything you do to it is going to do to everything in the beat so you just want to be very very subtle with what you're doing you don't want to do too much anything too crazy that's just gonna mess with the whole beat in general like adding way too much highs because then it just kind of throws off the balance If you're looking into getting both ebooks, Recording Pro Vocals, as well as 100 plus free plugins, I did create a special bundle for you. So you can get both ebooks at a discounted rate. A lot cheaper than if you were to buy ebook the ebook separate, just buy it in a bundle and you'll have everything you need to be able to record songs anywhere, as well as the tools you need to be able to mix and master your song. This is pretty much a bundle that I created for you so you can be able to record, mix and master your songs perfectly without having to invest too much money into buying plugins or buying unnecessary equipment that you don't really need. I show, I break down everything you need. So check out those eBooks. If you're an artist and you need some beats down below in the description, I do have my beat store where you could purchase beats. If you're looking at anything for trap, West Coast, or just hip hop beats in general, down below in the description, I have the link to my beat store. For the attack and the release, because this is a rap beat, 
there's 808s, there's kicks. I do want like a medium attack, but a very fast release. Just because I want it to hit, I still want the speakers to shake, I still want you to feel the bass, but taming it after it hits, and then a fast release. And that's all I really do to the beat, is just change those little tweaks to it. And then the last thing, kind of what I do is I use a plugin called Smart EQ3. If you haven't seen it uses, I like using this plugin on everything, my beats, my vocals, my background vocals. If I could use this plugin, I use it. Smart EQ3, love this plugin. It's a, it's a real life EQ. So it kind of tells me what it changed. It says it's like a little bit too much highs, you know, needs to boost up the high mids, lower here, boost this. Now every AI plugin is gonna have its own, what would it be, like algorithm and how it figures stuff out. So it's always gonna be a little bit different. So in general, I just put the dynamics all the way up and then you're gonna see this EQ frequency move. So, if you don't really understand what's going on, you could tell it's boosted here, right? But when the clap comes in and it's taking over those frequencies from like the 1K to the 5K, the clap is good. So, it doesn't really need to be boosted when it's clapped, when the clap comes in. So, when the clap comes in, it kind of lowers it a little bit. So, the clap doesn't, you know, it's not too high, because the clap is good. It's just those places where the clap's not there that it needs to be boosted. So that's just like a quick way of doing it. So this is that's why I really like Smart EQ because it's like a real life EQ. It's changing in real time. For example, like I said, when the clap is not there, those frequencies do need to be boost it a little bit more to balance out the mix to have everything enhanced where it needs to be but when the clap comes in it doesn't need to be boosted so if you were to use a normal eq for example like let's just say i add the channel eq and then around the 2k 5k let's say i boost it for the clap turn this off and i just play it It's not moving, so yes, those frequencies are boosted, but even when the clap comes in, the clap is not boosted. So now the clap is too loud, or it's, you know, it, it's too much, it comes out too much, it's not balanced anymore. So that's why I like using this real-time EQ, because with this one, you can't really do those changes unless you like automate it, and that just takes too much time. Ain't nobody really trying to do all of that, so. I turn it off. I use a plugin like this, and then I just lower it a bit. So, if I were to turn off all of the plugins, sounds good. But then when I add these plugins, If you want me to mix and master one of your songs, feel free to hit me up on Instagram or email me. Everything will be down below in the description. Get a hold of me, DM me, mixing. I'll get back to you. We could chop it up a bit, see what type of song you're going for. And if I can help you with that, we'll get it done. If you use Logic Pro X and you're looking for some free templates or for some custom made templates, hit the link down below. I have a link that goes to my website where you could download some free Logic Pro X templates, whether you're recording, mixing, or mastering. I have some free templates for you so you can download today and start using today. It just sounds even better. So I like doing this before I even start mixing. This is like part two of what I do. First one, taking out the unwanted noise, cutting it, panning stuff left and right, and then I work on this beat. So if you never knew you could do this, well, now you know. This is like part two of mixing. We still got a long way to go. 
but this is just part two. I ended up taking off everything. From here, what I do is I start working on mixing the vocals. But that's gonna be a whole nother video. So if you're new to this, subscribe, turn the notification on so you could stay up to date with when I drop videos. If you're looking into getting the ebook, get the ebook. If you're looking into investing into some wave plugins, use the discount link in the description. And that's it. That's all I really do. That's what I do after I premix. Part three is going to be me mixing the main vocal, and we're going to keep going from there. So I'm cutting up the whole series of recording, mixing, and mastering instead of making one big long video of like an hour, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm trying to make these a little bit shorter. So this is part two of recording vocals. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you stay up to date. If you have any questions, leave them in the description, in the comments. Check out the description. Everything is there. Also, if you want me to mix and master your song, hit me up. Everything will be in the description. Get a hold of me. Email me. Now, if you need more help when it comes to recording, mixing, and mastering, check out the mentoring group. I do have a group where I mentor people on how to record, mix, and master anywhere you are with whatever you have. If you're a beginner, if you're eating the media and you just need a little bit more help when it comes to recording, mixing, and mastering, join the group. I go over everything, home studios, equipment, recording vocals, pre-mixing, mixing, mastering, everything you need to know to be able to record, mix, and master professional quality vocals, songs from your house, from wherever you are. So join the group, get a hold of me if you have any questions. You want to hop on a call and talk about it, hop on a call with you and talk about it. I just want to help you the most I can. If you're an artist and you need some beats, like I said, this is a beat I produced. Check out the description. I do have a link to my beat store. If you're using Logic Pro X and you need some free Logic Pro X templates, check out my website. I have some free Logic Pro X templates you can use to record, mix, and master using stock plugins. So stay up to date. Also, if you haven't checked out my live streams, I am going to be going live on YouTube more often. I've only done one so far, but I'm going to do more. I promise you we're going to do mixing vocals, producing beats, mastering songs, hearing your songs, giving you feedback, everything in the live stream. So if you want to tune into the live stream, if you want me to mix your song in a live stream, get a hold of me. You already know how to do that. Hit me up on Instagram. I respond to all of my DMs. My name is Dave the Crook, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you for checking out today's video. My name is Dave the Crook. I just want to remind you to subscribe and drop a like. Also, don't forget to check out the descriptions. I literally have everything linked there from the ebooks to the plugins to the Delta 8 templates, beats, everything you need to know to be able to create songs, whether you're recording, mixing, mastering, or producing. I literally have everything linked down below in the description check it out i hope you have a good day i hope to hear from you in the next video peace